it has now been five years since I had my initial ACL and medial and lateral meniscus surgery. And one of the things I get asked the most often still is how am I and if I've had any issues since. The first question that a lot of people have is have you had any other issues or um, have you had any problems since? And I have not had any problems with my ACL, but I have had two surgeries for my meniscus. So my medial meniscus repair failed, resulting in a meniscus trim about a year after my surgery. About three years later, which was this past fall, I had to get another meniscus trim on that same meniscus. A big question I get is, how does your knee feel now? Is it the same as it was before surgery? People just want to know what to expect years down the line. So even five years after my initial surgery, my knee did not feel exactly the same. But I will say, since having my second partial meniscectomy, it's feeling a lot better than it has been for years. Um, one thing I noticed is that it's stiffer than my other knee. I'll talk about this later, but my flexion is not the same, so it's just a little bit stiffer. Um, I also have struggled with on and off pain, especially in the front of my knee and on the inside where I have the medial meniscus. But to be fair, I did have some patellar tendon challenges before ever having surgery. Um, the big thing though is that I don't notice these differences when I am playing or training or working out for the most part. So, did I get my muscle back? How is my quad size? Things like that. Um, now it's important to keep in mind that I did have additional surgery so this definitely affects my quad size but I still feel that my left quad is slightly smaller and a little bit less defined than my right. I still have a bit of challenge really getting muscle on there. At this point I'm only six months out of my most recent surgery so I am still battling some of the challenges from that. Next up is my range of motion and I have my full hyperextension. Um, I can straighten my leg the same amount but I feel that my flexion is a few degrees off and it's really stiff in the very end range. I can feel a little bit of pain with that. The amount of flexion I do have though is enough to compete in sports and do all the things I need to but I just can feel a slight difference. Yes, I've returned to sport and I've done so multiple times now. I was back to playing soccer after about 11 or 11 and a half months. I am playing professionally in Turkey, so I do follow the like team trainings. Basically, I typically work out a total of five to six days per week. Does your knee hurt or do you have pain? That's another big question I still get. Um, in general, I don't have a lot of pain, but I've said this before, I do deal on and off with pain in the front of my knee, like patellar tendon challenges, and I did have the patellar graft. And then I still have a little bit of pain on the inside of my knee, right on that joint line. This is where I've had two additional meniscus trims, um, and so I still feel a little bit of tenderness there, especially when I bend my leg to do like a figure four or like pretzel kind of sit. Overall, my pain has been less and less over time. So another big part of recovery that I get questions on is the mental side and um, right now I feel really good mentally even though I have had additional surgeries. Those were really challenging from the mental aspect but now I'm doing a lot better and I'm really like confident and comfortable uh, in my knee but I will say my journey like from a mental and emotional standpoint has been really up and down. A lot of people ask if I'm like afraid of re-injury or how I manage that. There are moments where I will get a little scared, um, especially for example if somebody tackles me in a certain way. Sometimes I'll go through like little scary moments and that will kind of put me in a bad headspace but overall it's not something that affects me daily or like makes me play any differently. How do I manage my knee or do I do anything different now? And I will say as I've gotten older and obviously as I've gone through the surgery I have adjusted to really focus on like rehab recovery and prevention a lot more than I was before so the number one thing that I do is I really focus on strengthening and I don't do this every day but I will use heat ice or stim as needed I make sure to foam roll and um, do some mobility training and things like that Next thing is that I do take collagen and I take the vital proteins one I'll have a review in the description below that I have written all about it. What's next? What are my plans now? Um, like I said, I'm in the middle of a soccer season, so when that finishes, I do plan to take some time off. That's something I've been prioritizing the last couple seasons, again, as I've been getting older and also after dealing with these injuries. So I will take a minimum of 
two weeks off, but I'm gonna aim for a month. And that's really hard to do, so to help with that, I like to travel and experience some new things just to keep busy um, in that time and make it enjoyable. In general though, I plan to keep playing for the foreseeable future. If you're wondering about specific parts of my timeline, like for example, if you are a couple months out of surgery and you want to know what my experience was at like two months post-op or anything like that, or if you want to know like how long it took me to reach different milestones, then I really recommend checking out my other videos and especially my frequently asked questions blog post because I address a lot of questions that I see every day. But um, since it was five years ago now, if you have a really specific question and I didn't address it in the video, unfortunately I might not know the answer anymore. That pretty much covers my five-year update. Unless there's something major to share, my next update will be a year from now for my six-year post-op update. In the meantime though, I do plan to share a lot more information about um, different parts of the recovery on my blog and I also post a lot more on TikTok and Instagram as well. So if you're interested in keeping up on a more like daily basis of my journey as a professional soccer player or after this um, after these injuries then follow me on there but otherwise I will see you guys in my next video